So for part one of today's JVC tutorial, we're gonna go over how to set up the camera. Now this JVC camera uh, is also called the JVC 150 and unlike what the camera strap says, it's not a Sony camera. So please don't call it the Sony JVC 150. We're always gonna get mad, <laughs> I guess, whatever. All right, so step one, before we even start, we're just gonna start putting things together. Um, the first thing you're gonna notice that is off is this bit right here. This is the microphone and you'll notice that it's pointing backwards. Um, now, I know some of you guys want to record your own voice while you're shooting, uh, but let's not do that. Let's just set it up correctly. So step one, we're going to unlock this lock up here. All right. Take this bit off and put it in the forward facing position. And then you're going to screw that back on like that. Takes a long time, still screwing in. All right. And then this cable uh, that's connected to the microphone, you're gonna plug it into, on this side of the camera, you're gonna plug it into input two. Input two. Uh, now you could plug it into input one, but there's a reason why we put it into input two, which we'll discuss in a later episode. When you plug that in, you wanna make sure that there's a nice, satisfying click. There's a nice, satisfying click. <laughs> uh, mm. All right, so that's step one. Um, next, as we go along, or go around the camera. You'll notice there's a spot for a battery in the back. Well, that's for this little baby right here, the battery. What you're gonna do is, in the back, you're just gonna put that inside and slide it to the left. And again, a nice satisfying click. You like that click, don't you? <laughs> All right, you're not gonna force anything. Nothing should be forced on this camera. If something is uh, giving you resistance, it's probably uh, you're probably doing something wrong, so don't do that. And the next thing that we're gonna put inside the camera is the SD card. This is what you're gonna be recording uh, your footage to, all right? And that goes down here at the bottom of the camera. This little door that actually has slots for two memory cards. Right? And I'm just gonna pop that into slot A. It doesn't matter which slot you go into, uh, but just to keep it simple, we'll put it into the first slot, which is slot A. I'm gonna put it into slot B because it works. <laughs> you close the door, all right? So there you go. The camera it has all of its accessories attached. Uh, one thing you also wanna make sure is on the right side of the camera, there's this other cable, all right, it, that attaches this microphone bit to the body of the camera. You wanna make sure that that's plugged in. Sometimes it does come off uh, in storage, all right? Uh, so that's pretty much all the attachments, the microphone, the battery and the SD card all attached to the camera. Uh, now we're gonna turn on the camera. To turn on the camera, on the side, on the right side of the body, this little three-way switch, I guess you can call it. Now you wanna make sure that that switch is pointed in the cam media direction and let go. And you'll know that the camera is powering on because lights turn on, right? That's the easiest way I know how to do it. And another way you can know that the camera is turning on is you have an LCD screen. I think it's LCD. Or is it LED? LCD? LED? LCD screen, right? Uh, so you know that it's on. But you might be wondering, now AJ, the, the screen is on, but there's nothing showing. Well, it's because it's closed. The hood is closed. Um, if that happens, if the hood is closed, if nothing is showing on your screen except bars and numbers, um, your hood might be closed. To turn that on, on this side of the camera, you have a little switch. You can just flip that on, all right? The hood is open and you'll notice on the LCD screen, you have image. And now you finally get to see who's behind the camera. You're, I'm pretty sure they're editing that out, aren't they? All right, and so that's pretty much how you set up the camera uh, before you actually record. Cool, now if you have any questions, you can uh, email us at jmsetech at gmail.com. Uh, or you can add a comment down below, which I know you're not doing, because I don't even do it myself, but uh, we'll have one of those guys there look into it. Uh, we'll see you in a couple minutes. Cool? All right.